Hello, I'm Brian David Phillips and I'd like to welcome you to Mind Games. <laughs> okay, cut the evil laugh and let's get to it. Uh, the Mind Game series is a series of what are essentially imagination games, uh, also known as suggestibility effects. They allow you to demonstrate just how powerful your imagination is. Now the trick to this series is to follow my instructions exactly. If you follow the instructions exactly and when I ask you to imagine something or to do something in the instructions and the videos ahead, just allow your mind to imagine as if it's really real. Remember when you were a child and you could play a game of pretend so well it felt as if it was real? That's what we're looking for here. It's a fun series. Let's find out how experiential your imagination is and let's get to it. Our next imagination game, our next mind game, is called The Lemon. Ooh. What? Why is it called the lemon? Let's find out. I'd like you to sit comfortably, breathe in, breathe out, and relax. You don't have to close your eyes or anything. All I want you to do is just watch me. Okay? I make these videos so that you can watch me, uh, so that I can helpfully inform you on a number of wonderful mind games, and so that I can allow my ego to be stroked by knowing people are watching me. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Okay, just sit comfortably. And I'd like you to just imagine. All you have to do is use your imagination. You don't have to do anything else. I'd like you to imagine as if I have a lemon. Now, I'm sure you know what a lemon is. You know that it's uh, the weight of a lemon. You know the color of a lemon. If you imagine I have my lemon here. I've got a nice lemon. It's a big one. Okay, and I'm going to take a knife, and imagine I take my knife and I just cut through that lemon, put my knife away, put that there, oh, it's a big juicy one, it's juicy, and what if I take my lemon and I how do you feel? Now, if you've experienced a sourness, a puckering uh, in your mouth, uh, maybe salivation, maybe the smell of the citrus, if you experience any of those sensations, particularly the puckering, boom, you have used your experiential imagination correctly for this mind game. Congratulations. Now, if you didn't, you can go back and play the video again and play around with it, have some fun. Some of you are actors. I am a trained actor. And so you'll recognize uh, this is very similar to some acting exercises from Stanislavski. Uh, sense memory uh, and some others have this sort of activity that allow us to become better actors. But those of you who are not actors, it's a great game to allow you to build your imagination and your memory. Yes, indeed. So, head on back and play some more. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I hope that you found that a useful and fun experience. Go back and watch the video again and practice makes perfect. Remember, your experiential imagination is both a skill and an attribute. Uh, some of us are just born better at something and others just uh, need to practice a bit to get up to skill speed. And we all improve through practice as long as you have focused your imagination and remember that key, experience it, imagine as if it's really happening and really feel it. Okay? Head on over to my web pages at www.briandavidphillips.com and check out all the goodies there. Lots and lots of free videos, audios, 
tons of free stuff as well as uh, products you can purchase. In fact, all of these mind games can be found on my core skills, hypnosis set, and other products on my site. And lots of other really cool stuff. So check it out. Like us on Facebook. Share us on Facebook. Be sure to click subscribe on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you another time. Until next time, this is Brian David Phillips saying... Live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.